Hi and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to make a really easy and delicious elegant dish called stuffed tomatoes and roasted beef. So we're going to get started right away. I've got this 12 inch cast iron skillet over a medium high heat. I've sprayed it with some spray release and what I did was I cut up one cup of broccoli. I diced it fine and then I split it in half. So I've got half a cup of broccoli in this bowl. We're just going to throw it in there. I diced up one cup of yellow squash and I've got half of that here. So half a cup in this pan. Then I diced up half of an orange bell pepper. That yielded a half of a cup of orange bell pepper. I've got one quarter cup in there. And then I diced up one poblano pepper and I once again split that in half so I've got one quarter cup of poblano pepper in here and one quarter cup reserved elsewhere. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to fry up these veggies really quick because these are going to go into the tomato. We're going to mix it with our wonderful Philadelphia chive and onion one-third less fat cream cheese today. I love keeping cream cheese around. To be honest, I'm making this dish out of what I have in my fridge. I, did, I didn't have that much. I didn't feel like going to the store tonight. I had some Philadelphia chive and onion and I thought it would taste great with these great vegetables stuffed in these lovely tomatoes that I found. These have been going for about a minute. They're starting to steam off a little bit and I'm just trying to soften them a little bit. Dish, As you'll see here too, I've got two tablespoons of butter melting. What I'm going to do is I rolled out two tablespoons of tortilla chips. I thought that would taste good and be kind of a crunchy thing. And then I've got two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. So our butter is bubbling. We're going to go ahead and pull that off. And I'm going to go ahead and just mix it in with my Parmesan and my tortilla chips. I kind of like textures and things, and I thought this would be a great topping on top of the tomatoes. So we've mixed up the tortilla chips and Parmesan and butter, so that's ready to go. Now, our vegetables are getting pretty well. I like the way they're looking. I think we're going to go ahead and mix in this Philadelphia one-third less fat chive and green onion. I don't know about you, but I keep Philly on hand all the time. It's such a great thing because if you've got friends stopping over unexpectedly or you need a fast dinner, Philadelphia solves your problems. I'm just going to go ahead and add in that entire eight ounce of Philadelphia. And what we're going to do is just let this heat up and I'll just go ahead and blend this together not quite like using the cooking cream. Oh, does that smell good. See, those vegetables will just steam up nicely in there, and then when we put these in the oven, the tomatoes will cook up really lovely. I'm looking forward to my gardens all popping this summer. I love tomatoes. I used to, as a teenager, grow tomatoes when I lived in Colorado Springs. So I would just sit out in the gardens when they were ripe and I'd just sit and eat the tomatoes right there in between the corn and the tomatoes. Okay, so this is heated up. I let it heat about two minutes with those vegetables in it. It smells yummy. Okay, we're going to turn this off and I'll meet you back over at the counter. Okay, in here I've got one pound of stir-fry meat that I just picked up at the grocery store. It was super cheap. Stir-fry meat is usually cut really thin and it's made of top round flank steak, top sirloin, tri-tip. That's the other one. Now, here are my reserved broccoli, squash, poblano, and orange bell pepper. Now, what I'm going to do is just put them in with the meat because we're going to roast these in the oven. I'm just going to drizzle about a tablespoon of olive oil over that and then I'm just going to sprinkle salt and pepper to taste however you like it. I'm guessing it's about half a teaspoon of pepper and just a little bit of salt. All I'm going to do is just take my hands just like Julia Child used to do and we're going to just mix this oil and these veggies and salt and pepper all together and what we're going to do is just go ahead and throw these into a nine by nine glass baking dish. 
because these we're going to throw in a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes and you can see look at how beautiful these colors are together so when these vegetables and meat roast they'll be the bed for our tomatoes okay so I've got my four little tomato shells that I've already hollowed out and I cut them just like this. So I've got my serrated grapefruit knife and I'm just going to poke right down in there, try not to go through the bottom, and I'm just going to curve this thing around so we make a, a nice tomato bowl here. And then I'm just going to cut right through the middle and all the way down so I can get that core broken up and quartered. Just like that. Now, I'll just scoop it into the bowl with the rest of isn't that beautiful how that works? We have a tomato bowl. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to take a spoon and put the creamy mixture with vegetables right in the middle. Now see when this cooks and those tomato juices release and it all mixes with this beef mixture with the fresh vegetables, the roasted vegetables, this is going to have a really colorful and flavorful appeal. Your guests are going to love it. As Paula tells us, we eat with our eyes first. So we'll just stuff those right full there. Stuffing these tomatoes reminds me of a story. My, I one time was in a bad car accident and my mother had already moved to Twin Falls, Idaho, where the home of the Jolly Green Giant processing plant is, and it was only located about a mile and a half from our house. My mom one time, while I was recuperating, she knew I didn't have anything to do, so she had me cut up 50 pounds of tomatoes. I made tomato jam, I made a tomato juice, spaghetti sauce, you name it. So all I'm going to do is take these little tomato cups, see how beautiful they look? They've got all that nice green and creamy mixture in the middle. They're going to be just beautiful when we roast these off in the oven. Okay, so I'm just going to take my tortilla chips and Parmesan and butter mixture, and I'm just going to press it right into the top of there. So it coats it and crisps it up. These are going to be just delicious with these flavor combinations. Love this. And when that Philadelphia chive and onion cream cheese melts, into these tomatoes and the tomato juices and it all mixes with this meat. Your guests are going to love you and it's colorful, it's beautiful, and it's way healthy because we used a third less fat of Philadelphia chive and onion cream cheese. And don't you just love these new containers they've got? They're just gorgeous. So we're going to put this in the oven for about 15 minutes at 350 degrees and I'll see you when they come out. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's great to use those little stir-fry meat packages that come up because they're cut so nice and thin and they cook right up in the oven. So let's go ahead and dish this. Okay, and I'm just going to scoop a little bit of that meat right around that so we have a lovely plate of food set up. And see all of those other vegetables that were in there just steamed right up with it. Isn't this gorgeous? And you've got all these fresh vegetables and you've got a really healthy meal with the help of Kraft Philadelphia one-third less fat chive and green onion cream cheese and look at that isn't that a beautiful plate this looks so beautiful and it was fast and easy I love this crispy crust I think every refrigerator in America should be filled with Kraft Philadelphia cream cheese I mean, at least get the chive and onion. It's great on bagels. It's great on English muffins. And look at that. I didn't have any onions tonight, and I just added it to this dish, and now I've got creamy, cheesy, rich, and delicious, and healthy. And it really helps because I got a third less fat. The meat is perfect and tender delicious meal. Thank you Kraft Philadelphia. One third less fat. Chive and onion cream cheese. Until next time, remember to spread a little love to the hungry and if you can't feed 100 people, please feed just one. Thanks and I'll see you next time.